We motherfucking tired. That's what we is. Motherfucking tired. I was tired, but I done had me a cocktail bitch, too. Bitch, fuck a cocktail, bitch. I'm tired. So I'm awake. It is 12.30. I have to be up in four hours. A.M. And we are filming this early because Ray is getting ready to leave. Sorry for those who commented about last week's video. My sister was under the weather. And I was motherfucking tired. And she was tired. Motherfucking tired. She's motherfucking tired. Yes, I'm motherfucking tired. Um, and my back hurt. Bitch, y'all, I was trying to do a push up with this fat bitch on my back. Bitch, my back, bitch. First I, of all, y'all, I'm not fat. <laughs> I'm this 6'1 and bitch, bigger than her. Bitch, I blew my back out two weeks ago. I think you need to take me to the ER. No, bitch, I think you need to take yourself to the ER. The bitch, I'm dying. Bitch, I can barely. Anywho. Move. We're going to get right into our Woman Crush Wednesday. Um, mine is... What is her name? Hold on, because I haven't looked at your... Um, one of our fans asked You're not me important, to, then. She is important, bitch. You, you are important. Is. One of my fans... Well, I don't know her personally. She asked me to make her my Woman Crush Wednesday, and I told her that I would. Her name is... I think this is her right here. Hold on. Hold on, don't say her name because it might not be the right one. Yes, um, Elizabeth Rocha. Chicka, 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 chicka. You are my woman crush Wednesday, girl. But uh, you don't have a whole that's lot of pictures picture. for me to uh, post to you, so I'll post. But you're not friends with her, so that's probably why. Are we ain't friends? Not at all. Well, it don't even have a thing where not, it says not, request friends. You, you're not down there. Um, but I can't, oh, she even, got too many friends. I can't even add her as a friend. Why? She too popular. Oh, well, Elizabeth, I can't even ask you as a friend. <laughs> but I'm going to um, put your, your 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 picture on her that you got. Uh, Elizabeth is from I'm sorry. Uh, Wisconsin. And she's been married since October 10th, 2015. Oh, Elizabeth, you just, oh, you just got married. Is that real or that just Facebook marriage? Well, girl, I'm going to say that it's real. I was just asking. Not too much of my woman. I was just asking questions. Asking questions. I was just asking a few questions. Um, Elizabeth Rocha. You want to girl is on fire. Gonna be Tamla Man just because I seen her today. Ooh, hallelujah. That's the song reason why. Right seen her in church today. So that's good. Take me to she she can take you to the king, sister. I think they were trying to get her to get up and give a good praise shout. She sat there peacefully. She gave them a praise dance, but she wasn't gonna give them a shout. Not for free. Mm -mm. I don't blame you, girl. Get paid for them vocals. She gave a little praise dance, though. So. Real cute. Hallelujah. Yes. Church, church was good today. Felt the Lord in the in the building. For all y'all who don't believe in him, I don't know. You just been touched by him by this video just for me bringing him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tamla me. Y'all, do y'all like my new do? 
My sister got an S curve. Y'all like it? Since y'all was at me the first time, boo, yeah. This went, This my Puerto Rican side coming out. This ain't no S curve. This my Puerto Rican side. So is you Puerto Rican? Yeah, my mama slept with a Puerto Rican man at one time, I believe. That that, that ain't your daddy, though. <laughs> your daddy is. I know your daddy, he ain't Puerto Rican. No, but my daddy got a Puerto Rican hair. Any who people. Oh, man. I'm not at all. I'm very happy. She man, she got that nigga shit. My shit be bright. It might be late. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, so, as far as the topics today, y'all, we're going to try to get to an email. The first topic. Depending on how long it runs, it it's not going to be, uh, depending on if we can get to an email or not, but we're going to try to make this one five or six minutes, then get to an email. This first topic is just a topic that I ran across on Facebook, and I really liked it. It was actually one of them little memes, or memes, whatever y'all call them, um, and it was a picture of a little black, it was a collage of a little black boy, and he got on Spider-Man socks. And Spider Man shoes. From Payless. I'm pretty sure. And a Spider Man t shirt. And it From says, Walmart. Kids don't care about high end fashion. That's you parents trying to impress other people through your child. Now, you know. She an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. You know, when I see that, I was like, you know what? That's did true. It did, because I know a lot of people. Who do that? No, my child can't wear if 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 it's not a Jordan, my child can't wear it. Or you know, if it's not Polo, my child can't wear it. Bitch, why not? Bitch, they gonna go outside, roll around in every that, piece of mud that they can find. Thank you. To fuck up all the success. The same shit. wear and tear, the same mud that they are gonna jump in in them Jordans is the same mud they are gonna jump in in them playlists. Or whatever. I'm not, and I'm not saying not that your chi your children has have to have cheap you know stuff. cheap stuff. But, but this would be like old days, bitch. I had my school clothes in my play clothes. Uh, uh, thank. When you got out of school, get out of them school clothes. Go get in them play clothes that you wore last year. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. My my little brother, who I take care of, he just turned twelve. Every day he comes home. You know, he got Benjamin. good, you know, he got Timberland boots that was almost $200. He got Nikes, he got Jordans, he got name brand shoes. But when you come home from school, take that off. That you done put on the Nikes that you got two years ago that you done muddied up <laughs> and the color damn near gone. That's what you gonna run and play in. Not my motherfucking yeah. $200 shoes that I done bought. And you know, in no shade to, you know what I'm about to say, I just don't get why people do this. Because they trying to impress somebody. I mean, but I, I don't understand how you, I, I don't impress know. Impress people being broke. Right. You struggling like a motherfucker to, to make sure that. The same that reason why a, motherfuckers go get cars in income tax time. No, they can't afford shit. You struggling like a motherfucker making sure your child got on these Timberland boots. Just so the bitch that you don't like can see your child wearing these Timberland boots, but y'all probably eat noodles like a motherfucker for dinner, lunch, breakfast, and brunch if y'all eat that. <laughs> what a mimosa. <laughs> mimosa. Like Tina Braxton said, mimosa. She don't say mimosa. Mimosa. I just don't understand. Like my... People thought first. And I'm finna say no shade again just in case they watch this girl because they, they are swear as shade, girl. I have a goddaughter. And she asked me to buy her, you know, the little shoes that got the little wheels on them? Heelys. Yeah, ma'am. And I had some in middle school. <laughs> but you had some Heelys? Yes, I like them. I went, I saved up my money and bought my own goddamn Heelys and was rolling through the highways of school, happy than the motherfucker, than the motherfucker that had on the Jordans and the Tims, and I'm skating past that motherfucking yeah, ass in my shoes. When she asked me to buy her something, I was like, yeah, God, baby, I'll buy you something. Her mama was like, no, she can't wear the M. And I was like, uh, bitch, why not? Uh, she can't wear the M. Don't know about Who wears them? She ain't wearing them. And she I was like, like thank you. Kids like kid shit. Like, kids ooh, like I know everybody had a pair of these. When felines had that sale, buy two for 89. <laughs> baby. <laughs> 
Yes, bitch. Yeah, that two for eighty nine bitch took you a long way, and if and you know your parents had a good check if you got two, two. of the two for eighty nine. Yes, you walked out there with four shoes, bitch, on top of the world, bitch. You was somebody. You can wear your first week of school. You have a shoe, a brand new pair of shoe on for the first four days. You was you was somebody, bitch. And then, and then if your if your parents co-parented, and your mama bought you the two for the um two eighty nines. And then your daddy might have bought you a shoe or two. You had a yeah. shoe for a shoe. You were set. Bitch, I love how my mama now, bitch. You wear the shirt you wore Monday, Wednesday, with a different pair of pants. Because mm -hmm. ain't nobody looking at your shirt. They're going to look at the pants. And then you wear a different pair of pants with a different color shirt. But you just swap it on out. You got outfits for days. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's how the fuck I was. You got... When I went school shopping, when I was going to school... And like elementary and Wednesday, you probably got two weeks worth of clothes, bitch. And you was able to keep that going. And if your parents didn't have a lot of money, you got a, a week worth of clothes. No, I'm so excited. But, but yeah, the bitch is old. She gonna be replaced in about a few more weeks. She can't replace me. <laughs> bitch, you getting old? I'm not getting old. So, so well, everybody's getting old, but... Yo, I turn 21 next month. It's definitely not the case. But, you know, back, sorry we keep veering off, but back to the topic at hand. If you are one of these people that do this, do or the, into showboat, period. I think you should just stop. It's kind of played out, and we almost in 2016 already. Just please. Yo. Yo. I won't even get the stunt with my taxes this year. Well. Bitch. Ask me how much this warrant is. In what Ulysses. warrant? Bitch, I have a warrant in Ulysses. I wouldn't really advertise that on my social. They'd probably pick you up sometimes. Look up, look up my address. How much your warrant is? $1,400. Bitch. <laughs> I got a couple. Um, no. If y'all want to send me $1,400, I will get a Since piece. we all started go find me for you. <sighs> a pay Raymond warrant. <laughs> We're going to start a GoFundMe for you. I'm not against it. <laughs> Yay! I am not against it. Okay, and... Let, okay, yeah. Sorry to, to the emails. We're not going to get to y'all today because some shit been happening to me. What's been happening to you? That, you know, it's a couple things. And if you are one of these type of people that think like this, you know, I'm going to speak for me and all the other pe homosexuals in the world. You know, fuck y'all. What's been happening? I didn't tell you this, but it's a little boy. My little brother is 12. There's, he has friends in my apartment complex. And my apartment complex are full with, you know, little nigga kids. <laughs> and things. <laughs> and they all, he knows all of these motherfuckers. Oh, he and on Saturdays and Sundays, they at 8.30 a.m., my door is knocking on. People are knocking on my door. Well, there's one little boy that he's very fond of that is one of his BFFs. His name is Q. And I like Q. He's a really nice boy. He's very respectable, you know, and all of these things. But no, so I, like, I don't mind. He's not a bad child from what I know. And I think he's 13 or whatever. But you know, good kid. So yesterday, my little brother had a game and one of his little friends by the name of Kana was spending the night. He has, Kana spent the weekend with us. Tonight they went to it's Kana's house. Um, and as we were pulling back into the apartment complex coming from the football game, my little brother saying, well, do you think you can spend the night too? And I'm like, oh, whatever, that's fine. So... I dropped as we were, I, I live at the back of my apartment complex, so Q lives in the front. So I was like, well, I'm just going to drop y'all off. Y'all can talk to them and then just meet me back around at the house. And so that's what they did. Well, they bust through my door laughing and, you know, kicking and ha ha amongst the three of them. And they was like, Bubba, guess when well, my little brother and my sister called me Bubba. And they and Jay, uh, my little brother Javius, he was like, Bubba, guess what? 
cute mama said. And I was like, what? And I was on the phone when they bust through my door. I think, I don't know who I was, I, was I, talking, I don't know if I was talking to you or not, but I was talking to somebody. And he said his mama told him that he couldn't spend the night at my house because she thought <laughs> that I would try to take his booty. <gasps> Those were the words that came out of their mouth. So I was on the phone and I, I don't even know who the fuck I was talking you to, but to I me. said, let me call you back because I had to make sure, because you know kids will, you know, lie. not only lie, but they will, you know, mix exact words, right. exact right. So, you know, I was like, let me call <laughs> you back. So, so I said, now what the fuck did she say? So he said that, um, so I asked him, Q, because, you know, I said so. But he, oh, right, bitch, he's, y'all, this little boy is over my house every More than he had at home. Every day, all day. Every day, all day. When school is out, he, when I come home from work, he's in my house eating a bowl of cereal or noodles <laughs> or chicken so. patties or cook whatever the fuck my brother is eating. He's in my house every day. And on the Saturday and Sunday at eight by by eight thirty a.m. he's at my door. So I said, "What the fuck did your mama say?" And she said, "Oh, she said that I can come over here, but I can't spend the night because um, you might try to get my booty." Well, to them, this was a laughing matter, but no. to me, as an adult, a black you don't gay man, me. bitch, not only are you disrespecting, but you're disrespecting my character but because you're not even child. talking about. But you're not even talking about the fact that I'm gay. But you're calling me a pedophile. But you know, most heterosexual straight people think that gay people out here sleeping with their toddlers anyway. Um, I, son, bitch, I'm not that 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 that, that hurt. Son, your um, brother thought that about me. No, about me. When you know how like I was over there with K4DM and all that, and our babysitting bitch. Um, when he got out of jail, he was like, "Do you think it's safe for y'all to be leaving Raymond in the house with the kids alone?" First of all, people bitch. that think like that. <laughs> Bitch, I am a homosexual man that like men. Men, no. grown men. Thank you. But I don't even like to date people younger than me. What, 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 what goes through y'all bitches' minds and heads to make y'all think that because I'm a I'm a homosexual man, man, or I'm just because I'm gay that I want to have sex with children? I don't understand that that bullshit. That's, that's like so common, saying. Though. I, I it's really it, no. I'm saying that people thinking that way. It's so common though. It's really what common. the fuck is wrong with y'all? It's, <laughs> like, really, it's, it's, it's really it, it pissed me off. And you know, I made him go home right then and there. You yeah, know, I have right, too. right then and there. I would have And you know, I've been doing my hair all day today, but I'm going to his mama's house tomorrow when I get off of work <laughs> because no. Because, bitch, yeah. man, you need to have a conversation. Because what is it? That's so disrespectful. B bitch, bitch. What have I done? Thank you. You let your child come over here, but yeah. So I'm then, a that's what I said to him. I said, Q, do your mama not know that you're at my house every goddamn day, all motherfucking day? She said, yeah, but that's during the daytime. So I said to him, and I'm very blunt when I'm talking to children or any motherfucking body that I'm talking to, so they can understand where the fuck I'm coming from. I said, so she thinks that it's okay for me to get your booty in the daytime and not the nighttime? I don't, I, you know, he was like, well, no, that's just, I don't think like that. That's just how she thinks, you know. And I'm like, bitch, bitch, first of all, bitch, you don't know me. And, you know, I didn't put two and two together until I talked to one of my neighbors today. And I had to talk to her because my little brother told me that my neighbor's father. Baby, baby father, you know, had something to say about, you know, her, their children or their child. Because my, my neighbor got two kids, but, you know, she got two baby daddies. No shade. But one of her babies said the, the younger child baby daddy has an issue with them coming over here playing video games with my little brother because... People are ignorant. I'm a homosexual. People are so ignorant. And I brought that up to her today, and she was like, well, you know, me and him did have a conversation, and like I told them, you and my motherfucking neighbor, I like you, my kids like you, you're very respectable, and I don't 
worry about my children's safety while they're in your care or at your house or anything like that. So, you know, that was why she was no tea. But this, um, this but last thing. month, when my little brother, you know, about three, four weeks ago, when it was my little brother's birthday, I had him a birthday party at the skating ring. Q's mother, the little boy Q, whom I'm think that I'm a rape him, <laughs> um, she showed up to the um, skating ring. Who was her mama? I didn't even know who his motherfucking mama was until he came and told me. And he was like, oh, hey, Damien, that's my mama sitting right there. She was, I don't know if you've seen her because she was. She didn't come to the, uh, over where the party was? No. She said, I, I didn't put it, I didn't think anything of it. She didn't come to where the little party room was. She sat out on the outside in, by her motherfucking self. <laughs> she had a little afro. Sorry, y'all. The, the camera, the phone keeps dying and memories, not enough space and all that type of bullshit. But like I was saying, she didn't really sit in, she didn't sit in the little room that I had reserved for the party. She sat like on the out, you know. But where the public was at. Right. And if I didn't know who the fuck she was, Q was like, oh, that's my mom. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And I didn't question why she wasn't in the party. I she just, just saw, didn't know nobody, so. Right, you know, I didn't know half the parents that showed up. And most of the parents dropped their child off and then left and then came back. She wasn't there the whole party. I guess she dropped him off and then she came back to pick him up about 30, 45 she had minutes. She to see how many pedophiles was in the room. I guess so. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't even get a chance to say, say anything to her because after they ate, they had about 30 minutes of skating left before the skating ring closed and then they left. But I didn't put two and two together. Uh, I don't, that's I don't why think no one would have thought that's why she wasn't coming over there. Right. My thing is and and no, I can, can I say one thing? Can I side note, bitch? I wish y'all could have seen his little brother birthday party. Bitch, it was more lesbians and gay couples there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure those white people was like God damn! Well, because I have very supportive friends. I do. And, you know, my friends come. And most of my friends don't have children. Some do. But most don't. But even the ones that didn't have children, they still came. The motherfuckers bring their nephews and nieces looking like straight lesbian couples. I mean, it is what it is, bitch. People need to realize that gay people are here. And just because we... Why is gay such... such, Why do y'all think we're such bad people? I know straight motherfuckers... In my family, that is bitch raping the fuck out of people. And have been to, you know, and shit like that. Don't miss, miss ma'am, if you watch this. I don't know if you watch yours and my truth. But if you do, bitch, don't get, I don't, don't give me that title. Yeah. And that's how shit gets started. Like, right. Real because it's, and then these, my little brother and, and, and his friend, they were laughing about it. And they said it's a joke. Until, until they see my reaction. Because bitch, I'm pissed off and they was like, well, why you mad? I was like, because y'all don't understand the severity of get out. this. Y'all can be talking to this amongst y'all friends outside. And it's when I tell y'all, Sexy. y'all, it's thousands of motherfucking kids in these apartments. It's Sexy. hundreds. Section 8. And I'm not on that. Just, you, you know. But, um, That's what it looked like outside. Section 8. Apartment. When you pull up out <laughs> My apartment is not. They don't I'm look like that, Section 8. I'm saying, but the, all the kids outside is Section 8. Mm. But you know how the Section 8 apartments had kids outside? I don't know, but it's a lot of these motherfucking kids yeah, here. You know how mine was in Houston. So, Got the girl. you know, it's, it, it only takes for, you know, the way they came here laughing about it to me, for them to laugh about it to their friends. Friend. And, and it trinkles amongst these friends, and then it's just a matter of time until these parents get a hold to that. And then they see me checking my mailbox or see me in the office. And then they start telling the office, bitch, I don't want that title. Bitch, bitch, don't give her the office, the police. Don't, right, bitch, don't, uh, bitch, if, bitch, if 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 if, if PD knock on this door, with that cause, me and this lady are gonna have a serious issue, bitch, a serious one. But I'm knocking on her door first thing in the morning when I get off of work at four o'clock. When I pull into my apartment about four twenty-five, I'm pulling up to her breezeway, and I'm gonna knock on her door on the on the third floor. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, because, yeah, man, we need to have a conversation. That's so, I just... And if this is how you feel, why, just why do you... Uh, bitch! <laughs> why do you allow this baby to come over to my motherfucking house? If this is how you truly feel. She ignorant. That's all. That's all. That's something. Bitch, and then her son it plays, you know, no shade to him, 
No shade to her parenting skills. I like the little boy. I think he's very, I like him and my little brother being friends. Hey, but you know, this little boy is failing and he's not being able to play football. My little brother got brought home seven A's and one B. Bitch, you might want him to, you might ought to want him to spend a night at my house. Maybe I can teach him some mathematics or, you know, some English or some social studies or if they, I don't, I don't know what he learning. But, you know, bitch, I probably can help him out to bring you home some of these A's and B's and shit like that. Why would the first thing you think is, bitch, my, my, yeah, bitch, and when this baby said, Oh, she think you gonna try to get my boot, bitch. And he said it so unbothered, like, oh yeah, that's this was this is how she thinks. <laughs> is he black? Like, what is he? Is he just black? Yeah, he black. Cute. Yeah, he yeah. black. Um, black. What his mom look like? Bitch, she was. I didn't. It don't look like his mom because he's a cute little boy. Maybe I shouldn't call him cute because y'all think I'm. <laughs> 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 But I wouldn't have thought that that was his mama looking at him. She's, you know, a little plus size, no shade on the facts. Or the plus size, because I know Remy, if you're watching this girl, no shade towards them. To the thick but, snacks. But to the thick snacks is what I call them. And she had this little fro thing, natural thing going on. It wasn't too pleasant to me, but you know, I didn't, whatever. She looked like a mom. I mean. Okay, that makes sense. But you know, I just wouldn't looking at her, and I just glanced at her. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have ex expected any of, you know, that caught me off guard. I don't expect people to say things like that about me, not, and it gets back to me, not from a child anyway. And then she told the ch the children this. It, she told them that. Just so, but you couldn't have wrote this in your journal or prayed about this or nothing. You you couldn't have thought that. I mean, uh, I don't know. Her son life. Bitch, this happened yesterday. Bitch, he was at my house this morning. They had a birthday party to go to. And my boyfriend dropped them off at the birthday party. Q was in, in, in was yeah. catching that ride to and from. But if this is what you think of me, bitch, bitch, what kind of parent are you? Bitch, she unfit. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. So you gonna let your son go to the pedophile house? If I'm a, since I'm a pedophile in the daytime. In, oh, in the daytime. I could only, if I was a pedophile, That's when the Lord I could only rape your son in the daytime. <laughs> Anything after 8 o'clock p.m. is this is against the law. Good bitch. I can't wait to knock on her door tomorrow. It's recorded. What, today? Put it on Snapchat. Put it on Snapchat. And I'm going to go to, and y'all, I'm going to go to her house with more makeup on than this. I'm going to be painted to, the yeah, man, my hair's going to be like this. I'm gonna be beat to capacity walking. Not wear a dress. Her <laughs> I don't wanna wear a dress. But bitch, I'm gonna be beat to capacity walking up to her door. Highlighted galore. You need to go buy you some lip gloss. I got some lip gloss. Put it on. <laughs> but that upsets me. That upsets me. But that upsets me too. Like, it's so stupid. But it's so stupid. But you just have to realize how common that is, though. That is very, very common. And I'm shocked, as, but it's more men that think like that than women, though. Like, it's really common. But why I got why pet, just because I like Dang the right. male gender does not mean that I like all male genders. That's like saying because a woman is straight, she gonna rape, she gonna rape little boys. But I guess to the straight community, that that's more acceptable. Or if a straight man is raping little girls, I guess that's more acceptable than a gay man. Yeah, you don't want to think that way. I don't. It's this is what the fuck the world has come to. The Lord is on his way. The Lord is real. Now, he not pleased. The Lord is not pleased with what the fuck y'all is doing. So and you how y'all think? I'm pretty sure somebody gonna come back. Come I don't get. Come and say the Lord not pleased with us being homosexual. And he not. And he not. That's all. <laughs> Bitch, he not. I know he not. I know my bitch. If you I don't know, know nothing, I know that word. All right now. If I don't know nothing, I know that word. So for all you, you know, people that be commenting, the Christians. Stuff. For all you, these type of Christians, not the Christians. 
but you these type of Christians that live by, you know, you, you don't they live by page. by page three and four. You don't live by page six and eight because that's what you agree with. You motherfuckers, don't not now one of you motherfuckers comment on this here video because of what I just said because y'all know what the fuck I meant when I said it. And we're gonna leave y'all with that. Because the bitch is drunk. Because I took a sip of whatever the fuck this is. I'm pretty sure she on her way to drunkness. I, you know what? I will end that just like that. Yeah. That but it. before y'all get into the credits and things, we still gotta say bye and how much we love you guys. We are <laughs> receiving. <laughs> yes. My sister serving Miss Seedless Blues. But like I was saying, sorry, the. The <laughs> Since you took care of me when I was ailing. Yes. But like I was saying, October's contest is actually gonna be a a good contest. We are receiving a lot of dub smashes. And for those of y'all, I forgot about this new app. Um somebody Music sent it on. in. The the musically app y'all know what the fuck we talking about right we don't use we it. accept those too those are just like dub smashes or whatever y'all just get 50 dollars for those because we didn't say i'm just playing. we I'm don't know you still get 100 um so yeah so we are receiving a lot we're actually uh, excited about this so you still have a couple more weeks to email us your video your dub smash or musically whatever the little thing is called or the snapchat music yeah or you can use your snapchat email to that email right there below and all, right, all of that good stuff for a chance to win a hundred dollar visa gift card and a yours and my truth t-shirt yeah. um that's pretty much it. Um, I know there was one guy. I don't know if you watched this. Um, I don't even remember. Let me see right fast. Let me see if I can get because my phone about to die. Uh, and you were just talking about my phone. Uh, your name is... This is it. Your name is... Travis Jones. Oh, Travis, man, you might be cousin. That's my name. Travis Jones, you sent in your dub smash, and it lo really looks like it's going to be a really cute, funny <clears throat> video, but it wasn't no sound, fool. Like, it ain't no sound on the whole video. Um, I emailed you back and, and told you that we received your video, but there was no sound. You have yet to respond, so if you're watching this, Travis Jones... Your video didn't have any sound. He was after the Cohen. Right. It looked like <laughs> it was going to be funny. But, yeah, whatever. But, yeah. As always, we love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. A billion times and more. Follow us on our social, social media, media stuff. Yeah. Our yeah. Snapchat names. I'm going to try to work more so I don't have to film. There they are. Um, our vacation. Instagram names. We're going to charge you a GoFundMe account for a passport. There they are. And as always, like our Facebook fan page. Just go to Facebook and in the little search engine. Type Yours and My Truth. Yours and My Truth. And there we go. Like our page. If you don't like it. So well. Oh, well. Um, and we have good news before we go. We actually got, uh, we actually were reached out to by, uh, what's that, magazine Huffington Post. I think it's spam. Uh, it could be, but it seemed legit, but I was still excited. <laughs> Even if it is spam, I was excited. We got, a uh, magazine reached out to us, um, wanting to work with us, so they say, and they ask for our contact information. Can, well, when's she rambling, time? we have to go, bitch, I have to be up. And, it's not I have rambling, to be bitch, up. I have to be up. To Bitch, I have to be up in three hours. And that's my fault. <laughs> we could have filmed well, earlier, but she had to work. Thank you. I've it, been up all day. Well, I have to go to work tomorrow at job number one because I was at job number two today. So thank y'all for watching. We love y'all so much. We appreciate all the love. She's a rude bitch. Hi, my rude. I'm sending all and my love. If y'all want her to be replaced, <laughs> tell me. And we can replace her. 
Yours in my truth. Yours in my truth. Yours in my truth. What it do? What it do? Yours in my truth. Yours in my truth. Yours in my truth. What it do? What it do? For this real ass truth, we gon' let it all out like a birthday suit. Oh boy, for the truth we speak. We some safety ass bitches got the lashes on sleep. Hot 